Hi everyone, welcome to another video and today of course you can see by the title I, uh, I'm going to review this guy right here. This one is Shalimar but it's the Old Cologne. So without further to do let's get into it. Um, so I really enjoy the bottle. It struck me, um, doesn't quite look as feminine I would say as the original bottle which is thinner and then goes out wider very quickly. You've probably all seen it. Almost like a half moon sort of shape it does that. This one is imagine if you squashed it and it went tall and that's sort of how it looks but I really enjoy good looking bottles. Um, now overall um, I've always said I don't like Shalimar. Um, that's not necessarily true. I think it's Habit Rouge I'm not keen on. For whatever reason, I don't think the bright citrus, I mean it's got real bright juicy citrus, mixes well with the, the dry down. To me it just doesn't quite work. Um, so when I say I don't like Chalamar, it's more I don't like Habit Rouge so much. I like Habit Rouge Low, Habit Rouge Sport, but I don't like original Habit Rouge that much. Um, when it comes to Chalamar, um, what made me buy this one is I bought my mum a, uh, so I didn't know whether she'd like it or not, for last Christmas I bought her 30ml of the Shalimar uh, Oda Puffer. Of course I got to try it uh, and I've worn that a couple of times and I actually quite enjoyed it, you know, it was uh, pretty good. So I was having a look around thinking, you know what, I might get myself one of those. And um, I've seen this a couple of times, I thought, you know what, I might actually try the out of Cologne and um, so I bought it it was 35 pounds I think it was um, and these come in a 75 mil you can see but love the bottle got your sort of Shalimar cap gold sprayer and you got uh, of course uh, Eau de Cologne Shalimar Golan Palace right on the front there and you got little bit of in uh, don't you want to really see that but it's very very light white writing um, but you've got your information on the bottom mm. so get into what it smells like well before that um, this uh, Shalomar the Elder Cologne uh, got a little bit of information um, came out in 1925 so yeah it's uh, it's been around some years uh, not as long as Shalimar itself, of course. It's been uh, sort of like a flanker, really, you know, the Cologne version. Classed as a amber, um, amber spicy. Amber, maybe. Not so much spicy. I don't really get spicy out of it. Um, more uh, in, uh, smoky, leathery, incense-y. Uh, uh, vanilla sort of thing. Um, now, the top notes in this are said to be bergamot, lemon, mandarin orange and cedar. Mid notes are iris, vetiver, uh, patchouli, jasmine and rose. And the baits base are said to be leather, vanilla, incense, apopnax, I think they say it, benzoin, sandalwood, civet, uh, balsam and musk. So out of these notes that I've got here, the ones that stand out the most for me, bergamot. Bergamot is a wash through this, um, especially at the top. But even as it dries down for a good couple of hours, there's a there's a there's a, a dominant sort of bergamot mixing in with the rest of the notes. Um, not much else really um, on the top. Iris, vetiver, patchouli, jasmine. Maybe a touch of jasmine. It's the base notes that are in this more than anything. So you got it's mainly the bergamot on top, then a few base notes. And the base notes I get from this, and the same with Chalamar itself, the old toilette or puffer, uh, is a leather, vanilla, incense, maybe a touch of civet, maybe, um, and musk. So this actually does smell exactly the same um, uh, as the one that my mum's got, the old puffer. Um, and all this does is lighten it up a little so it's not quite as heavy but it smells exactly like Shalimar so 
Okay, if you're thinking, oh, this is going to be like citrus heavy or um, really a little different, not really. This does smell like Shalimar. You spray it, you instantly think Shalimar. Uh, so don't be put off by it being out of cologne either. Because uh, believe me, this can last uh, a fair few hours. And we'll get into that. So for so, what as well have a spray. Uh, so you'll see the sprayer. Well, you might not. Nice sprayer, plenty of juice, nice mist. Oh, and in the air, I would say it's a bit fresher of an opening than the. Um, I'm just going to go off the other puffer because that's the one I've got the most experience with. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you get this sort of jasmine with a, which is slightly sweetness. Um, and more so the bergamot with a bit of lemon that's off the top but right behind it is i would say definitely the like a vanilla incense and a little bit of a, a sort of resinous feel but mostly off the top you get the blast of citrus you do get the shalimar dna poking through it's more so the i say the incense vanilla Oh, it's um, such a beautiful, uh, like, okay, like fresh bergamot opening citruses with a bit of that DNA, like, uh, darker DNA in the background. And this is the main thing that sort of is different compared to the uh, Eau de Toilette Eau de Puffer, is it's a bit more bright and in front or up front with the citruses when you first spray it. And from wearing this about three times, uh, three days straight this week, um, I can say that this freshness tends to last um, maybe 20 minutes to half an hour, then it starts to, to dry down, you know, most citrus to start going after about half an hour. Uh, I will say the bergamot in this does last quite a, a bit longer. It tends to be more of a background note <clears throat> as the hours go on, but it is there. So whoever will have done it, uh, that bergamot does sit on your skin for a few hours but give it about half an hour and that's where the sort of base notes start coming up oh yeah and uh, oh it just smells good and there's a there's a there's a bit of the balsam here it's, it's got a bit of a it's just slight powdery touch uh certainly at the beginning and that's pretty much where the difference is uh finish um <clears throat> once you get to say the, the it starts drawing down and more of the base comes up it really just smells like every other Shalimar, uh, as in the regular Shalimars. Um, smells like the old toilet, smells like the EDT, uh, so EDP. <coughs> um, I'll go off the EDP. It does smell like the EDP. Um, you get like a, the, the dry down of Shalimar is pretty much like a, a, a vanilla. Um, it's got that sort of um, Guerlain, Guerlainard um, DNA. Uh, it's got the vanilla. It's got a bit of a smoky incense, uh, slight leathery touch to it. Not much, but it, it, it is there. Uh, poking its head through. A little bit of a civette gives it a bit of a twang. Um, like a sharpness, shall we say, like a little sharpness. But it's it's not all the time. It's there, it pokes its head in and out. So, <coughs> uh, people are looking for something a little more fresh uh, in the Shalimar range. Um, absolutely stunning. Now, uh, it being an outer cologne, <laughs> uh, uh, this stuff, uh, I had it on the one the last day that I did, I made sure that I sort of timed it um, of how long it lasts and that. And I could easily smell it on the fifth hour. Uh, once it got into the sixth hour and into the seventh, it started then dying away. Um, and it got, to, I think I looked at it about the seventh or eighth hour and I could just about detect it on my. my on my uh, <coughs> t-shirt and on, my, on myself so um, up to that though it's it, it lasts and projects quite well uh, this is quite aromatic in its sense of it pushes push certainly pushes off my skin um, this lasts uh, a good sort of four to five hours where you will smell it easily um, I would say three to four hours where other people can smell it easily 
you will smell it for easily for another hour or two for yourself uh, and then it always starts to die off so it being an outer cologne is actually really really good on its performance um, I, I personally I don't need to buy the eau de parfum now because uh, I prefer the slightly more fresher opening and this lasts dries down to Chalamar in its true form uh, and lasts a good length of time for me um, I'm happy with about six hours uh, of any cologne and this certainly doesn't disappoint it certainly gets to at least six hours and this is where it um, comes a little more palatable I think when it comes to men wearing it um, yes it draws down to Shalimar itself and if, if you think Shalimar is a bit too feminine for you then um, then yeah you're probably not going to like this either um, but I will say it's toned down when it comes to the femininity of it uh, I think it's the, uh, the, the the bright citrus is still mixed very well uh, and lasts a long time <coughs> for a good two or three hours before it really gets down to the base of, of real Shalimar um, and I think it's a little bit easier to wear because of that and I like my masculine sense but I really do enjoy this one um, it, it isn't like, over feminine and it isn't masculine either uh, it's sort of right down the middle but you've got a, like a old school feel when it comes to the smoky vanilla and the leather touch it has got a, a, an old school feel to that it, like Shalimar has um, some people say that you might smell a little bit um, Shalimar itself uh, might smell a little bit sort of um, grandmother like and I, I can get that um, this tones that down a little bit this tones that down a little bit being the older, uh, the older cologne it doesn't come off quite so grandma -ish, if you if you see what I mean I, I understand where people are coming from with that um, I, that doesn't bother me but if you're bothered about that then try the older cologne it tends to tone that down a little bit so personally if you're a male or female and you want one um, a Shalimar which is just a little bit more citrus heavy but still smells like Shalimar then the Eau de Cologne <coughs> is for you oh, oh, this could easily be someone's signature scent all year round it's got this so much citrus opening for um, not a super high heat of summer I just wouldn't wear it for that just due to the dry down uh, but it could easily be a <coughs> pretty much all year round um, signature scent for somebody who likes the smell of Shalimar but wants something a little more uh, easier to wear and fresh uh, then this is good to go put this in your bag um, your purse whatever uh, and after six hours just spritz a couple of more sprays I go um, I go roughly about six or eight sprays with this uh, I've worn it about four times now three, three or four times and it's gone down that much so yeah 75 mil will last you a good time uh, but definitely um, signature scent worthy in my opinion so overall I really do enjoy this version of Shalimar for me personally um, this is the best one to get just for me it, I like citruses so it just adds that little bit more of a citrus kick and it's not quite as not quite as heavy on the old old grandma kind of feel so it really turns that down uh, and it's much easier to wear than than um, Shalimar uh, Eau de Toilette Eau de Parfum and um, <clears throat> definitely worth a look if you've not tried it so leave a comment in the comment section if you've tried this do you like it do you not like it what do you think if you've not tried it uh, we have um, the Eau de Toilette Eau de Parfum uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below I'll answer you as soon as I can so thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it as always I'm going to go and enjoy my Shalimar for a bit more time <coughs> this week and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon on the next video and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't it would help me out a lot so again take care and I'll see you again soon